John Stuart Mill was a pivotal figure in 19th century philosophy, whose profound ideas shaped modern concepts of liberty, equality, and social justice. As a staunch advocate for individual freedoms and a critic of societal norms, Mill's work addressed critical issues such as colonialism, slavery, women's rights, and economic reform. His contributions to utilitarianism and political thought reflect a nuanced understanding of human welfare and moral responsibility. Through a blend of ethical reasoning and social critique, Mill's legacy continues to influence contemporary debates on rights, governance, and the balance between individual liberties and collective well-being. John Stuart Mill, 1806 to 1873, was a prominent English philosopher and political economist, celebrated for his influential contributions to liberalism and social theory. Born in London to philosopher James Mill, he received a rigorous education that set him apart from his peers. By a young age, he had mastered Greek and Latin, immersing himself in literature and philosophy, which laid the groundwork for his future ideas. Mill is best known for his advocacy of individual freedom, standing against state and social constraints. A key proponent of utilitarianism, which focuses on the greatest happiness for the greatest number, he expanded on Jeremy Bentham's principles and engaged in intellectual debates with notable contemporaries. His personal life was marked by struggles, including bouts of depression in his 20s, which led him to question happiness and purpose. Friendships with thinkers like Thomas Carlyle and Auguste Kant helped shape his views, moving him toward a more sociable understanding of human nature. Mill's professional career began at the East India Company at age 17, where he rose through the ranks and reflected on governance, particularly regarding colonial India. His writings advocated for a compassionate yet effective administration. In 1851, he married Harriet Taylor, whose influence on his work was profound, especially regarding women's rights. After her death in 1858, Mill continued to champion social justice, evident in his writings, including the pivotal On Liberty, 1859. This work explored the limits of societal power over individuals and introduced the harm principle, which states that individual freedom can only be restricted to prevent harm to others. Mill also highlighted the importance of free speech, arguing that even unpopular opinions should be heard to facilitate the search for truth. He warned against the tyranny of the majority, advocating for constitutional checks to protect individual rights. His contributions extended to social reform efforts, including support for labor unions and electoral reforms like proportional representation. As a member of parliament, Mill was a trailblazer for women's suffrage, marking him as one of the first to call for women's voting rights in the legislative body. Mill served as Lord Rector of St. Andrews University, delivering memorable addresses on moral responsibility and justice. He also engaged in debates on the death penalty, arguing against its abolition as a necessary deterrent. His legacy as a champion of personal freedoms and social justice has made him a central figure in modern liberal thought. Mill's views on liberty, free expression, and the role of government continue to resonate, influencing contemporary discussions on rights and freedoms. He passed away on May 7, 1873, in Avignon, France, leaving a lasting impact on philosophy and political theory. John Stuart Mill's views on colonialism, slavery, women's rights, and economic philosophy present a multifaceted portrait of a thinker deeply engaged with the moral and social issues of his time. Colonialism. Mill held complex views on colonialism, advocating for benevolent despotism. He believed that British rule could bring progress to barbaric societies like India despite critiquing certain East India Company policies. This perspective revealed a sense of moral superiority regarding Western governance and a belief that colonialism could civilize other nations. Slavery and Racial Equality An early opponent of slavery, Mill vehemently opposed pro-slavery arguments in his 1850 essay, The Negro Question. He called for the complete emancipation of enslaved people in the U.S. and emphasized the need for educational opportunities to foster mutual respect among races. He viewed the American Civil War as a necessary conflict to abolish slavery, showcasing his commitment to human rights and equality. Women's Rights Mill is renowned as a pioneering advocate for gender equality. In his 1861 work, the subjection of women, he argued against the legal and social subordination of women, asserting that such oppression stifles societal progress. He emphasized education as vital for women's empowerment, advocating for their independence and equal participation in society. As a member of parliament, he pushed for broader political representation that included women. Utilitarianism In Utilitarianism, 1863, 
Mill built on Jeremy Bentham's ethical framework, defining happiness as the ultimate goal synonymous with pleasure and the absence of pain. He argued that action should promote the greatest happiness for the greatest number, contrasting his consequentialist view with Kantian ethics, which focuses on intentions. Mill introduced the distinction between higher and lower pleasures, positing that intellectual and moral pleasures are more valuable than mere physical ones. Economic philosophy. Initially, Mill supported free markets but recognized the need for government intervention to promote utility, such as taxing alcohol and supporting animal welfare. He criticized progressive taxation as mild robbery while endorsing inheritance taxes to enhance societal equality. Over time, he embraced socialist ideas, arguing that poverty stemmed from social arrangements rather than individual failings. Economic and Political Democracy Mill's vision for socialism included worker cooperatives, balancing competition with social goals. He championed political democracy, emphasizing the need for an educated electorate. His work, Considerations on Representative Government, highlighted the importance of citizen participation and the role of education in fostering responsible voting. Theories of Wealth and Income Distribution In his economic writings, Mill analyzed production and wealth distribution laws, advocating for equal starting conditions and minimal state interference post-equality. To address wealth inequality, he proposed income and inheritance taxes and policies to curb excessive consumption, recognizing inheritance as a major factor in economic disparity. Environmental Awareness Mill acknowledged that wealth is not solely material. He warned against unchecked economic growth leading to environmental degradation and hoped society would voluntarily adopt sustainable practices before necessity for such changes. Conclusion Through his nuanced views on happiness, economics, and social justice, Mill remains a significant figure in philosophical discourse. His advocacy for a balance between individual freedoms and collective welfare continues to resonate in contemporary debates on rights, equality, and the role of government. His legacy is that of a thinker who championed both personal liberty and the moral responsibility to promote the common good. In conclusion, John Stuart Mill's extensive contributions to philosophy and social theory continue to resonate in today's discussions on individual rights, equality, and ethical governance. His advocacy for personal freedoms and social justice serves as a guiding light in our ongoing quest for a fairer society. As we reflect on Mill's insights, it's essential to engage in dialogue about how his ideas can be applied to contemporary issues. For those interested in exploring these themes further, subscribing to discussions and analyses on Mill's work can provide valuable perspectives and deepen our understanding of the enduring relevance of his philosophy. Join the conversation and uncover how Mill's legacy can inspire meaningful change in our world today.